Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we have an exciting topic to cover. How to clone your 120GB Kingston SSD to a larger and faster 512GB Team Group NVMe drive using Acronis True Image for Western Digital version 2023. If you're using a Western Digital product and looking to upgrade your storage, this tutorial is perfect for you. But before we dive into the process, I have great news for you. Acronis True Image for Western Digital version 2023 comes with a limited 5-year license exclusively for Western Digital customers. And this software is available only under a limited time offer and must be redeemed by download and install within 90 days of purchase or by December 31, 2023. So if you are using a Western Digital product, you're in luck. Additionally, Acronis True Image offers advanced features such as backup and recovery, disk cloning, and cyber protection against ransomware and crypto jacking attacks. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step is to download Acronis True Image for Western Digital from the official Western Digital website. Simply visit the WD support page, look for the article, install and uninstall Acronis True Image for Western Digital products, and scroll down to the installation instructions section. Here, you'll find the link to download the software. After downloading the software, extract the zip file and proceed with the installation of Acronis True Image on your computer. The installation process is straightforward. Press the install button and wait for the installation to complete. Once installed, start Acronis True Image, accept the agreement, and you're ready to go. Let's take a moment to check the license details. Click on the About section. And there it is, Acronis True Image for Western Digital version 2023, with an active license valid until 2028. This means you will have five years of reliable and secure data management and protection with Acronis True Image. Before we begin the cloning process, let's explore the protection features offered by Acronis True Image. The active protection feature safeguards your computer against processes that attempts to encrypt your files or use CPU resources for cryptocurrency mining. It's a fantastic feature that adds an extra layer of security to your system. If you prefer not to use this feature, you can easily disable it by clicking the Turn Off Protection button. Next, navigate to the Tools menu in Acronis True Image and click on Clone Disk to initiate the cloning wizard. In the cloning wizard, you will be presented with two options, Automatic and Manual. The Automatic option will clone the source disk to the target disk in a few simple steps, making the new hard disk bootable and automatically resizing the existing partition to fit the target disk. The manual option provides you with full control over the cloning procedure, allowing you to adjust partition sizes, change parameters, and more. For the purpose of this video, we will choose the automatic option. Select the 120GB Kingston SSD as the source disk and the 512GB Team Group NVMe as the target disk. On this page, select the required cloning method. We have three options. The first one is to replace a disk on this machine. The second one is to use on other machines. And the last one is to use as a data disk, and it does not clone with a bootable OS. As we are going to replace the disk on this machine, let's select the first option. Review the summary page to ensure you have selected the correct disks. Before proceeding, take a moment to explore the advanced options available. Here, you can exclude specific files and folders from the cloning process if needed. Simply browse through your folders and select the ones you wish to exclude. Once you're satisfied with the selection, click on Proceed button to start the cloning process. Acronis True Image will now clone your Kingston SSD to the Team Group NVMe drive. The time required for the cloning process will depend on the amount of data being cloned and the speed of your drives. In my case, the cloning process was completed in less than 5 minutes. 
After the cloning is complete, you will receive a confirmation message. Safely shut down your computer, disconnect the Kingston SSD, and power it back on. This step is important as it prevents any conflicts that may arise from having two drives with the same ID, which can confuse the UEFI firmware. Now, it's time to verify that the cloning was successful. Disconnect any external drives and set your computer's BIOS to boot from the new NVMe drive as the primary boot device. Power on your computer and wait for it to boot up from the NVMe. Once your system is up and running, double check that everything looks and functions as expected. Verify that the C drive now reflects the larger size of 476GB, indicating a successful clone. Additionally, ensure that Windows is activated and running smoothly on the new NVMe. Congratulations, you have successfully cloned your 120GB Kingston SSD to a larger and faster 512GB Team Group NVMe drive using Acronis True Image for Western Digital. Enjoy the increased storage capacity and improved performance. That concludes today's video. If you found this video helpful, please support us by subscribing to our channel to see our next video. Thank you for watching.